Come see my garden today. And what we're looking at is a miniature rose. It's called Green Ice. And I have actually planted two of them in my garden. The beauty of this rose isn't the fragrance, even though it has a very mild fragrance. The beauty of this rose is the multiple colors. And as you can see, there is cream and pink. And look at the delicate flowers on here. And there is also green. So we have cream, green and pink on one rose bush. Absolutely beautiful. Now, like I say, it's a miniature. And this is a standard miniature, but it's a 60 centimetre standard. So what that means is it's grafted onto a stem of 60 centimetres. And please make sure to put a solid stick or something that will hold the rose up underneath it because it will fall over without it. What it means is it's 60 centimetres off the ground and it gives you opportunities to plant things underneath and around the rose. Remembering, of course, not to put anything too close to the rose, to the foliage, because if we don't let the sun shine in, the rose won't actually produce. But as you can see, this one here is way out in the light uh, with plenty of sunshine. It gets about nine hours of sunshine a day here. So miniature roses are beautiful both in the ground or up on 60 centimetre stems like this one is. So remember, take care of your rose make sure it has at least one solid water a week if you're in a warm climate if it's a new rose and it's just growing you're going to need to water it two or three times a week in a climate like i live in so once the roots of a rose die especially in the early stages um, the rose is gone you can't actually uh, get that rose back you'd be very lucky to uh, get back a rose where the roots are dried out. So enjoy green ice. It's a beautiful little miniature sitting in my garden. I do get a lot of pleasure from this and I hope you do too.